Alrighty, so let's see what we have to do. So I guess we're going to head to the courthouse first and foremost, and we'll kind of see if we can figure out um, what happened with the break-in. I think that's the most important order of business, you know? I guess we would also, if I can figure out how to get to the damn court. Oh my. Okay, hold on. We will figure this out. Never here. But we should probably also go visit um, Lauren at her luminous infusions shop. that girl with you, Ned? Mm -hmm. Who was that girl? Honestly, she should say yes. Yes, you have to. You have to come over, Ned, because you are a piece of trash. Whatever. I need to get Judge Danforth's permission before I investigate the burglary. Okay. Didn't he ask for your help, though? So, I mean, what... Come on, take a break. You need it. Jason, Ooh, I have had these protesters outside my window nonstop for days. I must deal with this situation. The longer it goes on, the worse it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, but I'm buying lunch. You're buying? Really? With what? You gotta get over this, Dad. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. What are you talking about? You resent me. I don't resent you, Jason. Miss Drew, please, come in. We'll talk later, okay? Oh, you have time for her, but not for me. Please, Jason. Hi, Jason Danforth. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. You're visiting Salem, yeah? What do you think? Kind of a boring town beneath all the legends. Jason, come on, we have a meeting. Actually, it seems like there's a lot going on here. Well, whenever you're up for some real excitement, look me up. I'm sorry, That's he's awkward. still trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life. Didn't want to follow in his father's footsteps. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried. Didn't have the dedication to follow through with the schooling. Anyway, let's get started. As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? That information isn't usually available to the public. I'm afraid I can't just take your word for it. I'll have it taken care of. Mm -hmm. Didn't he ask you to investigate, though? So why is he all like, oh, that's not available to the public? Because, sir, you asked me. Um, I guess let's call her dad. See if he'll get us permission. How's my girl doing? Hey, Dad. I have a favor I need to ask you. Of course. Shoot. I need to investigate inside the Salem courthouse, specifically concerning the burglary in the evidence room. Do you think you could call Judge Danforth on my behalf and get his permission? Not a problem. You know, this reminds me. Next time you see him, you should bring up the Lake Winnipesaukee Regatta. Dad. Yeah? Maybe later. Sure thing. Talk soon. All right, cool. We have a lot of people we can call, but like none of them I actually want to talk to. All right, let's see. I guess we should ask people's alibi. Who? What the heck? You're all set. Great. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Is there anything else? I'm just really proud of you, Nancy. I don't know how often I tell you that. I think it's not nearly enough. Thanks, Dad. You know I learned it all from you, right? Oh, now I know that's not true. The judge told me about a certain lock-picking incident. You certainly didn't learn that from me. <laughs> I may have picked up a few extra skills along the way. I'd expect nothing less. 
Love you, kiddo. Go get him. Her dad is so awkwardly chipper. Also, where is Deirdre? I thought she was... Oh no, Deirdre was with you. But it's so awkwardly like... Oh, like just shush, Dutch? sir. Shush. Everything okay? What in the Sam heck is a Bitcoin? A Bitcoin? It's a cryptocurrency. A what? Um, it's a decentralized digital currency. <sighs> All these new made-up digital things just go too far, if you ask me. Nothing's ever been wrong with good old American Benjamins. As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? Oh, yes, about that. Well, you see, I had it written on a post-it note, but I seem to have misplaced it. It should be around here somewhere. Feel free to look for it. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. I love a good scavenger hunt. I know it's over here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's a number written on here. 0815. Let's go put that in. Oh eight one five. There we go. No glass on the floor. So the window was broken from the inside. Hmm. Um, okay. Need to get the list of the evidence that was stored here. Okay. Now to figure out which ones were stolen. No. No. Interesting. Oops, no. Not what I wanted. No. 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 Such a ridiculous puzzle, like what? Interesting. No. No. I know the assumption is that no. If there's um interesting. Something. All of the stolen evidence was linked to the Never accused mind. witch's claim to Hathorn House. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All of it was submitted by T. Perry. A CCTV camera? There might be footage from the day of the break-in. Should ask the judge about this. The break-in was staged. The thief must have come in through the door. All right, let's go ask the judge about that. I went through the missing evidence and was able to get a list of everything that's missing. Judge? Judge? I'm afraid I haven't been completely honest with you, Nancy. I know. What? You know? Let's just say I can tell when someone is trying to hide something from me. The reason Carson sent you to Mosem Castle was because <laughs> I already knew what was stolen from the courthouse. Tegan Perry had assembled a packet of documents outlining her accused witch's claims on the Hathorn House. They were compelling, and I believe she had a real claim. But now, they're missing. No documents, no claim. Yes. Oh, what a mess. Let's see, um... Hmm. Have CCTV footage from the break-in. Yes, we do. Huh. I had completely forgotten about those. Do you mind if I take a look at the footage? Of course, of course. It will take about a day to get the right footage. Come back tomorrow and it will be here waiting for you. Thanks, buddy. 
One quick question for you, Judge. Do you remember where you were on the night the Hathorn House was burned? Of course. I was having dinner with my son. It was a very expensive dinner because Jason got the 64-ounce tomahawk chop. And I paid for it like I always do. Ha! <laughs> you actually suspect me of committing this crime? No. I just like to get the full picture of who was where when. Oh, good. Ha, huh, that's... Sure. Good Do you mind me Nancy. asking what you were doing three days ago? Hmm. That would be the day you visited Mozan Castle. Are you asking for an alibi, Miss Drew? I'm just trying to confirm what everyone was doing the day that the Book of Apologies was stolen. I know it was stolen. But you know I'm the one that called your dad to have you go look for it to begin with. Right. But other people might say they were with you. I was at Salem District Court all day, so unless you're interviewing the fine folks who stole eggs from a plover's nest at Winter Island Beach, or triple parked outside the Wax Museum during the middle of the Harvest Festival, I highly doubt my schedule will have crossover with any of the alibis you're following up on. Cool. Where were you when this evidence was stolen? If you can believe it, I was here, working. I have no reason to steal the evidence, trust me. It's giving me more headaches than I care to admit. Without any evidence or will, what's the legal status of the house? Well, that is a somewhat complicated question. With so many moving parts and interested parties with crossover jurisdictions and... You're the one who decides who gets the house. How did you know? I can tell you're not happy about being the center of such a large decision. Well, it's muddy, legally, and complicated for other reasons. Because it's not just who lives there. It's tied up in the town's history. Yes, not to be taken lightly. Do you remember any details about the A.W. evidence? I don't remember much, unfortunately. Oh, there was this key with its blade shape to spell A.W. Very unique. Not sure what it was connected to. Like this one? Yes, that's it. Where did you find this? Mosam Castle. I say both crimes are connected. The theft of the Book of Apologies and the theft of evidence from the courthouse. Someone is going to great lengths to prevent the AW organization from having a claim on the Hathorn estate. Any educated guess who that might be? Practically everybody in this town. Everyone has an interest. Some want it to be a museum, others a carnival attraction. And I'm sure Lauren Holt just wants to live there. I'll have to dig deeper. Well, you'll need to do it quickly. I unfortunately must file the papers in two days. Otherwise, I lose control of the property and it falls into the hands of the state. And I doubt they give a fig about anyone's opinions from this town. I love a good ticking clock. As long as it's not a time bomb. Right. Thank you, Judge. Also, I thought you should know there's a car parked outside in the handicapped spot. Huh, you don't say. I'll have it taken care of. Goodbye now. Dang, Nancy's such a snitch. Alright, let's... Oh, he said his, um... The CCTV footage wouldn't be available until tomorrow, so we don't have to worry about that. Did he just appear? Can I tell that's creepy? Oh no, he's he just kind of blends in. Alright, his gross tan outfit. I hate these friggin' controls. I just want to be able to click quickly through the street. Oh, you're here. Yes, I am. This shop is really cool. I love the decor. Thank you. It's taken a lot of years to get it the way I want. I kind of imagine this is what an actual witch's shop would look like. Yeah. Seriously, you have all these herbs. Look, St. John's wort, mandrake root. You know, witches were just synonymous with people who used the old medieval ways of working with plants and animals, curing ills. They were healers, shamans, and confessors. You can see why some people might have been threatened by them. I know, right? No leeches here, though. I draw the line at bloodsuckers. 
I'm glad you get it. A lot of people around here don't. How so? Some say I'm cashing in, not respecting history. People get so caught up in the death and judgment. But I was always interested in all of that lost knowledge, even as a kid. I bet a lot of kids around here are fascinated by it. Used to be. There's like this weird glow coming from her. It's kind of creeping me out. Any modern witches come in? Olivia, perhaps. I get plenty of people that come in curious to find something positive and healing in this town. Olivia typically isn't one of them, and that's just as well. You disapprove of what she does. She's always been like this. She thinks of history as a show that just needs more special effects. Never mind that real people got hurt. You've seen her little show? She's still talking about a recent coven in Salem. Yeah, is that true? No, like I said, she doesn't care about the truth or who gets hurt. Dang, that's harsh. All right. I do like the scenery, not the scenery, the environment for this shop. It is quite pretty. What an odd key. It probably unlocks something in here. Okay. Let's steal someone's key then. I don't think we can buy any of the food that herbal teas offered. and natural remedies. A whole menu to choose from. I could borrow a key to the main Hathorn house. Key? Oh, I don't have a key anymore. You don't? No, but Alicia does. If you ask her, she'll lend it to you, I'm sure. All right, we'll do that. I'm sure you've been asked this before, but where were you on the night Hathorn house was burned down? I was coming home from work, crossing through the cemetery see the orange glow. By the time I got home, it was almost all gone. I called it in. Were you the first one to call? Anyone see you earlier? Like an hour before? I was in my shop. Any customers? No. Are you trying to say that I burned down the house? No, I never said that. Good. I've said it a million times, but I'll say it again for your benefit. I'm just glad she wasn't alive to see it. She loved that house, and I loved her. You understand? Of course. You were the first person to see the fire? Well, yeah. I was going home, and that's where the fire was. You know the fire might help you keep your home. I know that now, but I didn't before. It's a slim chance at best. I'd rather it was whole and shown to be mine by right. But if that's not an option? Nothing could make me want to destroy it. Um, See you later. Let's continue on with investigating because I'm sorry, but there's so much talking. I just kind of get over it real fast. 